Wow, you're sitting here on YouTube imagining what could I have in my mouth, in my lungs, in my stomach? What could I have? Is it jelly? Is it jam? Is it peanut butter? No, it's not. It's marijuana. It's Nirvana Center. That's what you could have in your mouth, in your lungs, on your body even. Tinctures, t uh, edibles. I was going to say textures, which I guess that applies. Um, uh, they have the goop that'll turn you into soup. Uh, go to Nirvana Center, any of the multiple locations in the greater Phoenix area, and tell them that the final stop sent you. Nirvana and Nirvana Center is not responsible for anything Tristan Bowling says. Nirvana and Nirvana Center LLC is a great company. But Nirvana it is Nirvana responsible. Nirvana. But it is responsible for getting you cooked. <laughs> getting you cooked. Nirvana <laughs> LLC. We'll see you later. Stop. Stop. Smell the flowers. They don't sell monkeys. <laughs> www.patreon.com right down here slash final stop podcast dude at this point I, i've done the math we have close to over a hundred hours of bonus content on the final stop patreon it's lit we say a bunch of stuff that we can't say on here it's amazing tell a friend about the cast there's a one dollar mcballer level or if you are a holier than thou type person there's a gusmanite slash gusman level we haven't decided yet but there's a follower of gus level where you get those internal affairs we pull the curtain back behind the podcast. I've cried. I've called Tristan names. He's made fun of my family. It's a great time. Join the Patreon. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to another episode of The Final Stop. I'm your host, Daniel Bridgegad, live from the uh, ever-glorious Mescal Manor, Mach 2. Over here on the other side of the country, looking all fucking suave. It's the vampire king himself, King Possum, Lord Meerkat. Tristan Bolheen. Nobody move. Join the Patreon. <laughs> I like. Yes. Nobody move. Good. Good. Nobody move. Roll. Tristan did a natural plug that was funny. Over here on the side table, it's the big man himself, the anti Riz, uh, Patrick Oriannons. It's Andrew Oriana. I'm already part of the Patreon. Please don't hurt me. Yeah. What's up? Join the fucking Patreon if you haven't already. It's a good time. We do a lot of fun stuff. We've been podcasting, if we're being honest, in like a week and a half, which is a long time for us. Generally, we do I this know. twice a week. To really bring you the biz. I know. It was very funny last night. I was at the stand and I was talking with someone because I'm like, oh, I saw a clip of your podcast. That's very cool. And we we're just like talking about Patreon. And I'm like, yeah, we got like 20 people on ours. And then I'm like, just, you know, being like, yeah, it's a little bit. You're, we're going steady growth. And I'm like, how about yours? And then he said a four figure number. And I'm like, OK, yeah, all right. That's all why right. we continue to put out Patreon content because there is that option. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I have 20. So... <laughs> That is that I, is the easiest But I know way. all of them pretty personally. Pretty personally. Uh, yeah. Two of them. One I came out of and the other one. Is uh, me. Yeah, is, <laughs> is me. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's the, I would think, probably quickest way to, uh, like, quit your day job as an entertainer nowadays. If you're not, like, selling, like, asshole picks. It's like, if you get a little bit of buzz turn that immediately into I have 20 people picks. for that too. I have tw <laughs> I have 20 people for that too. So <laughs> yeah. Actually, the uh I don't think we hung out since I was in San Diego. Oh, have I talked about have we talked about this at all? I don't talk to you outside of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus dickhead. <laughs> We yeah. sell the brand. Uh sorry. I, guess I have an NDA. I have NDA specifically with you that <laughs> no Daniel break association. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Outside of this. That's what it stands for. So I went to uh, uh, San Diego twice in four days or whatever the fuck. The first time. Ooh, I, what no, a fucking no. cool guy. No, Look no, at no, me. No, 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 no. The first Mr. Time was San not, Diego, why don't you marry it, you piece of shit? The first time was not glamorous. Uh, well, at least like travel wise. That bitch was not glamorous at all. I flew, I flew front and back Frontier Airlines, which for its own reasons, suck cock. I'm tall. The seats don't lean, whatever. But then just like the actual like where I stayed. I didn't stay in a hotel, so like, let me like give you the whole situation. Like, wait, I, hold on. Before, did you were you just like, because you said you're tall, and I've been on Frontier Airline. Did you just look like Mister Incredible when he has his tiny little car and he me, did those let seats? Me put it, let me put it this way: there are no fucking um, ar there are no armrests on Frontier. The niggas in front of me just used my knees and thighs. They were just, <laughs> <laughs> when they wanted to put it up, my you're leg in just full went up. Like, Jamaican <laughs> bobsled <laughs> mode. <laughs> <laughs> every, every your cool runnings to this I'm frontier cool. flight. Dude, cool. Every we're like thirty five deep cool runnings this frontier. Yeah. Every cool. time you get, it, it's like, all right, we're coming on a left hand turn. If we could all bank left for the whole plane. <laughs> 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 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixty degree barrel, and now, and everyone's fucking <laughs> other left, you idiot. Yeah, did Couple someone jump? Forks. We almost just hit a bird. What are we doing? <laughs> uh, so I fly there on Frontier Line. I'm going to. I did um, mic drop in San Diego. I got to open for Morgan J. Uh, That's fine. Which was which was cool. The show was nice. He has the crowd that I wish I had because he he sings. He was a uh, he got new faces this year. He's a fun guy. Uh, yeah. He's on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he does a, a style of comedy that, like, I, I can't do because obviously I'm not fucking musically inclined. But also, like, I don't have the level of, like, suave. No, you can do has. it. You can do it. Hmm. If you went up on if you went up on stage at DBG and Friends with bongos around your neck and every no, time you hit. that's a different hit, thing. That's a, this takes no skill to be, like. Or just, any, like, under your hand, <laughs> just being, like, just in there. It's like, yeah, I'm Disney Channel back. <laughs> yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> his his audience is all hot bitches, all like every single one of them. Just like like there's a difference between being a um, male comic who has a uh, female following, where it's like they bring their boyfriends, and then there's a I I attract like eight top parties of like just females fucking hanging out. It was it's like Matt Rife esque, like his uh, his fan base, dude. Yeah, coolest show I've had ever. They don't give a fuck what you say like like they don't want witty no witty at all no they want they want like over the top fuck they want def jam comedy let me tell you yeah i threw on a, I threw on a type and on that farm warning. there was a that girl's pussy <laughs> e-i-e-i-o like it's yeah it's pretty he formulaic a, he did a 10 minute song it, it, it's just it's just crowd work it, it's just called suspicious as fuck great greatest idea ever. it's just suspicious as fuck is the is like the basically the turns into the punchline and you just go from person to person to person, and he just, hears your just, signs. Them, <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> yeah. These girls are just like sliding off their seats, waiting to talk. And he, it's not like he goes like random. It's just like, all right, it's, okay. And so you just see the girls. Come on, it's almost my turn. It's almost because because the good ones turn into to TikTok clips. Like that's what that's yeah. the game you're going. It's almost kill Tony to them. You like, yeah. like, come on. Here's my one minute. If this goes well, it makes me. And they're just yeah. waiting for him. During my set, awesome. But then I leave there, right? And I didn't, I didn't want to spend money on a hotel because my flight was at six a.m. and I didn't get out the club till about one. Oh, so you just slept uh, at the airport <laughs> with your Air Forces off? Like a fucking homeless person, dog. Like a fucking. Did uh, you keep your Air Forces on this time? No, I took them off. I was about to send Tristan a picture of me and him when we had to sleep in an airport. I went. Um, so I didn't know that San Diego fucking international airport. This place blows cock. It's not good. They don't have like like Sky Harbor stays open, the security gate because it's a. Actually, San Diego might not be international then because I don't know why it wouldn't stay open twenty four seven. The security gate closes at like midnight, so I get there after and have to sit just in like, dude, this fucking. Oh, front, where people get picked up. There's no room. There's absolutely no room, and there's so many fucking people that are doing the same thing I'm doing. I I slept behind like um, this cart thing where you, like you pull out the carts and like. I slept yeah. in this little like funnel, and it was just a fever dream because it's just like hospital fluorescent lighting, just mm, just going like this. Luckily, I had a bandana, and I, I put my bandana over my eyes, and then I put my hat over the bandana, and just slept on linoleum for two and a half hours, and got like cripplingly high because that was the only option. I just had my pen, and was just like, <sighs> like well, that's the thing too. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing too. Is that people? You don't get checked in when you walk into the airport. Just when you walk into the terminals, nobody gives a shit what happens at baggage claim. It was fucking. It was. It was. It. It sucked. It would have been like a hundred and seventy some dollars probably for a hotel, but then it was airport surcharges, twenty five bucks each way. So we're two hundred dollars for what? Five hours of sleep, really? So I'm not gonna fucking pass out the second my head hits the pillow, and I gotta get it. the whole thing sucked ass. Then I had to come home and work right after. But I ended up going back to San Diego. For a work conference on Wednesday, they flew us out. Delta, that was nice. There and back. Ooh, that's what we, I'm yeah. flying on Thursday. I'm flying yeah. Delta. <clears throat> yeah, screens in the back, leg room. Guy still touched my leg. Didn't appreciate it. And <laughs> He's just trying to be it, friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Guy's like, what? I thought this was Frontier. No, you fucking didn't. No, you didn't. At I all. thought it was Virgin Airlines. Sorry. <laughs> I thought we were gonna get sultry in the back. He was just making sure you didn't finish all your in-flight meal. Yeah, uh, and we got to stay at. <laughs> Jesus, we got to stay at a. Uh, are you done ship? with that, baby? Are you done with that? <laughs> are, you ba- are you done with your uh, individually wrapped baby carrots? Um, yeah. We uh. We went to we stayed at the Sheraton. It was like right on the edge of 
Of, Good uh, place to live. You can live there. San Diego? Sheridan. Nice. Sheridan. A Sheridan. You can live in a Sheridan. Yeah, he did it for about a few months. Yeah, you can do that. In my head, I know. I just stuck with the joke. I always thought it was a red roof since we did it, but it was a Sheridan. That's what you guys are staying at? No, nah, it's a residence, but you guys called it a Sheridan a bunch. I could take fucking it was a residence. Uh, it, was, it was nice. Weird. I'll give you this. Weird. Uh, staying amongst coworkers and drinking amongst coworkers. Real weird. Because I've been at this company for a month, but I've liked drinking for a while now. So it's like. We went out to drink right after the conference. Eight hour long, all day conference. Boring as shit. We got drunk. Oh, oh, before this, my, my boss is my not my boss. CEO of the whole thing. Jewish as fuck. Last name Stein. Super Jewy. We're at this like What's luxury. his first name? It doesn't matter. We're at a, we're at a fucking Sorry, we'll find him. <laughs> yeah. Find him, boys. Yeah. yeah. Carl, get on find the Find him. It's a Jewish guy with the last name Stein. Yeah. You'll be Did able you? to pick him out. Jew in a haystack. Uh, I knew it. R.L. Stein, the writer of Goosebumps, <laughs> yeah. is is the CEO of your company. Yeah, you got me. I was there for a proofread convention, and uh, I knew uh, it. You were selling spooky stories. It's it's <laughs> it's so dude. He fit the stereotype to a T. Not even like how he acted or mannerisms, but like kind of for that. But also like, okay, we're at this like super super nice like really professional ballroom. The lighting guys are top shelf guys, professional. The cater guys are top shelf fucking prime rib and salmon a bunch of you know like real nice shit and the food All is the... too wet and it's too bright in right. here no, 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 <laughs> not even that well, i'm just saying, i like... just spent two hours in the airport yeah. and it was just hospital lights the i couldn't sleep the air conditioning makes my joints hurt right well, no, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just saying it was all like high, like they gave every employee a $300 lift credit for fucking a day and a half that we were down there. Like, I'm just saying that it was like very high quality, all top tier stuff, top shelf. The videographer. I wish slash, I got more credit or else I wouldn't have to ride with this old Korean man. You're close on the, you're yeah. close on the credit thing because the, vid- because the videographer slash photographer for this whole thing. Keep in mind, everyone else is top shelf getting paid top shelf fucking prices, I'm sure, because it's like a real, real deal corporate type deal. Videographer is the CEO's son, a senior at fucking USD. He's a photography fuck off major or whatever. Yeah. Fuck. Nepotism's a bitch, dude. Just, just definitely. His son's like, do you want to cut the line? <laughs> you just get to slide your way in. Yeah. What's your last name, son? It's yeah. Social Stein. What made it worse is like, it'd be one thing if like every time you fucking looked at the kid, he's like over there in some fucked up angle, his hamstrings by his ear to get like the perfect shot. No, yeah, he's, not. He's, he's not. He's rubbing white dust off his keys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. fuck you. He's like, I do dust. avant-garde photography. I keep the lens cover <laughs> on the camera. Basically. I just go for vibes. You know, I'm trying to yeah. capture essence. And I'm just sitting there being like, you got your CEO dad to write you a letter of rec to wherever you want. And he owns a fucking Fortune 500 company. And you just get gifted all these like sweet gigs like god damn it must be nice but it also made me want to like if i ever got wildly successful to where the bridge cad name meant something my kids are probably gonna be little shitheads because i'm just gonna hand them the keys of the car be like i didn't have this go for it go nuts no i'm gonna nah. do i there's part of me that would like kind of want to do the thing where it's just like one day it's like we're living in a studio apartment making so much money and then just like the kids that like have enough and then be like, do you guys want to go do something fun and like take them to a castle and be like, this is ours. I've been lying the whole time. We don't need food stamps. I've been cheating the government. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be, be kind of lit, though, to give your kid like the Mufasa speech where it's just like everything the light touches is mine, bitch, not yours. Mine. You ain't getting shit. Enjoy your minimum wage. <laughs> I, yeah. I, for, I forgot who it is. I'm pretty sure it's Jackie Chan, but he's like, yeah, when I die, I'm just going to give all my money away. I think Bezos did the same Bezos thing. And, uh, Bezos and uh, Bill. That being said, though, that's like... I'm gonna I'm gonna use if I become like a like a really wealthy like you do comedy and then you invest properly and you're just like ba da ba da ba just making bank like I will with all my money give it to not my kids or not anything and just have that all just invested liquid into making the world's largest firework that they will light off at my funeral and, and then and then blow it blow up a monument with it. Wait, wait yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> and then aim it at the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> you mean the world's largest firework? They keep those in submarines off the tanks of off, the, off like the edge of hey, like China. Have your funeral <laughs> in Japan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I be- mean. How fun would that be? Just being like, they're just fucking. They're like, oh, we don't even have money for the funeral. But it's like, well, there's the 
two-story firework that Tristan bought. <laughs> have you have you ever handled an irresponsibly sized firework? Yeah, I almost took my fingers off. Like uh, I'm not talking like a little razzler that'll blow a finger off. I'm talking like like one of the pointy bitches. If it fucking touches your chest, you die. Oh no! And no. You touch, like a, like a like Roman a candle, Zanzibar. like on a stick. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Because I had one of those can- explode off the stick in my hand. It was fucking insane, dude. I know. I, that's why I asked that question because I knew your scumbag ass. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, dude, one time we played Edward Edward Roman Candle Hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, dude, that we does were, sound uh, fun though. Have you we seen were, those videos of kids in like Chicago just in the streets just shooting fucking uh, the the Roman candles at each other? Yeah. Have you seen those like, videos? Expelliarmus, motherfucker! Ah! <laughs> just running around. Expecto Patronum, nigga, and then just launching. Yeah. Expecto Patron, this motherfucker. Back. <laughs> yeah. And no, I literally, I was, we were running around with my friends and like, we all got like a couple, we like went to Safeway and like, we'd never seen those type before. We're like, oh fuck. And so we got like a bunch of them. We're running around. And I literally remember just going up to my buddy, Ryan, lighting it, pointing at him saying, I'm a wizard. And before I could get, I'm like, I'm a wit, just exploded in my (laughs) hand. And then I literally like saving private Ryan. I just like went to my knees, looked at my hands and it was just ringing. It was just... I mean, my ears are fucking ringing, and like I'm like, all right, sick. I have all my fingers. And I look at my buddy Ryan's just running like this away from me, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we were like, You're thinking in like we were like volume internal conscious. You're like, shit's fucked. Wow. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, this is a lot. That, I bet that was really loud. And then like we were like five blocks, away, like five neighborhoods away from my house, and my mom just texts me. She's like, "What the fuck was that?" And it, it literally <laughs> sounded like someone just straight up fired a shotgun in the middle of the fucking. It was in crazy. In the middle of Goodyear, dude. That's yeah, why I knew you lived in a nice neighborhood because someone didn't even shoot a gun. They shot a firework, and the whole neighborhood's fucking lights turned on. They're like, "What the hell's going on? We don't. This is why we moved away from the hood, Terry." Yeah, we should. And we by the hood, I mean Peoria. Yeah. <laughs> In my old neighborhood, bro, people were just firing guns if soccer games went well. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> dude, I saw a clip of a Saudi wedding. Yeah. <laughs> and this dude, I've only seen clips where it goes okay. I've never seen one where it ends how you thought it would. It's just a guy <laughs> with a banana clip on an AK just going, ah, da, 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 and then his hand slips off the banana clip and goes, ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> you just see a guy like, Movies lie to you. When a guy gets a kill shot, dude, you just go limp. Like, there's a dude like da 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 da. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> straight up. It, it's it takes the rug right out out from under your feet. <laughs> like, it really, getting they're, shot they're, in the face will put you down. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Everyone's trying to be like, it's all right. He's it's he. You know what? He brought a third to- toaster as the fucking <laughs> gift. You he deserved to die. No, like it's, yeah. yeah this guy left fifty bucks in the envelope. It wasn't an accident. <laughs> they just like they just like look through. And they're like, oh my god. They're like grabbing him and they're like, are you okay? Jewelry? You've been stealing everyone's necklaces this entire time? <laughs> you pickpocket son of a bitch. He's like, I mean, this is a good thing, right? It was what crippling. Is it? Dude. Why are you booing me? I'm right. <laughs> it was crippling. Yeah. Elon Musk's new X. That Twitter would never have shown me that. X shows me way too much goddamn stuff. Like, Dude. It's, it's, movies make you think that when you get shot, like, oh, God, ah, ah, and it gives you time to be like, oh, they're dying. Okay. I'm okay with that. But, like, when you see a guy just go from, like, alive to dead in about a half second, you're like, oh, shit. It's it's that that easy. I saw saw something on uh, Twitter. It was, like, um, uh, first off, I sent the Twitter link, but not that's not the thing I'm talking about right now. We should pull up that Twitter link, though. Is it in uh, the group chat? Yes. Sorry. Uh, Andrew, produce. No, I didn't even know he sent it in. My bad. No, you're good. Um the fucking no so i saw this thing it was this guy like do you know what like wave boarding is where you like have that big old stick and shit like that it's, it's a guy tough. going over like a shallow fo- uh, kind of water of like wakeboarding and you see in the background just bra, 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 bra. and you're like what the fuck is that pitbull coming through just oh, fucking chomps yeah. onto his side <laughs> i'm like dude it's crazy how even in the water pitbulls are more dangerous than sharks like this is <laughs> 
This is crazy. Why do we allow this animal? It's like if you put if you leave your balls on a pit bull, the amount of anger that thing that's like having a gun with feelings in your house. Like that's fucking insane. Why that's would like you do that? Like a 15 year old, a 15 year NFL vet middle linebacker, dude. Just a guy that guy could pop off and shoot your whole family. Yeah, Look, my whole dude, mouth is Bar- a weapon. Bargatze has a bit. It's like in order to end gun violence, everyone should just be able to own a tiger because like my gun misses all the time, but my tiger has never missed. <laughs> my, my tiger is key. In, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and guess what? If my tiger misses, he's not that far away. He's not gonna miss again. Well, are you yeah. anti? Are you anti pitbull? I mean, I like all dogs. I really do. What I have a pitbull? Probably not. I mean, you like, I would. It would depend. It would honestly depend. I would like. And now that I think, honestly, if I'm like, if someone came up there like, here's a little pitbull puppy, I'm like, I know I'd be like, there. It's how it's the people who are raising them who make them bad and shit like that. It's people who have like. Lot, like short tempers and shit like that because dogs read up on that. Daniel, you are making this a race thing and that's exclusively you. No, no, no. The, well, yeah, yeah, but the only reason... I'm <laughs> only adopting a pit bull to take it to the NFL. No, the, no, <laughs> no, the only reason... It, what Tristan said was funny because he's like, it's the people who raise it who make it whatever. My girlfriend, My girlfriend's not racist at all, but she's racist against like types... Like, we can have a dog one day but it definitely it has to be a white people dog. Yes. She goes, dude, without, I go, can we have a pit bull? Absolutely not. Rottweiler. No. Chihuahua. Oh no. Like, they're just like, yeah, it has to be a golden doodle chalupa pula. Like it's just some bullshit. Yeah. So then when you were like, like, shit, it's going to shed dog. and it costs yeah. more than her haircut. So, so then when you're like, yeah, pit bull and Rottweilers, they're not bad. The people who raise them are bad. They're, aggre- they're aggressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're they're si- they're a portion of community, and we all knew who we're talking about. All right. You've never heard of a rogue, a golden retriever, have you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. As soon as pit bulls get their own water fountains at the dog park, I'm fine. All right. That's all I want. A little You're bit. Wrong, That's all I have want. That same type of racism transcends like species. Because make no mistake, if you go to like a nice area dog park and then like three pit bulls walk in the same like there goes you're the looking for you're looking oh, yeah. for a muscle tea you're <laughs> yeah. looking for a muscle tea <laughs> yeah the same there goes the neighborhood added well now my fucking now my cocker spaniel can't have fun here because of these guys i'm just trying to keep my neighborhood safe yeah, yeah. These, god, these goddamn mexican pit bulls it's like these goddamn bulls. these goddamn <laughs> dog owners mm. <laughs> With the hard R. <laughs> Owners. <laughs> These goddamn fucking Mexican pit bulls. Her lady, is a, his owner's a ginger white girl. These Mexican fucking pit bulls. You don't know who she fucks. <laughs> you, know what, you don't know what she brings in, huh? She's dirty. <laughs> I can tell from here. She's dirty. Uh, here we go. I had... Uh, pull up I the Twitter a, thing. Up, I, I'm I pulling it up. I've pulling always wanted up. to see this. So uh, someone did a whoopsie and left a bicycle on the subway train. Oh no! And uh, it goes from like zero to a thousand pretty quickly. Here comes the R train. Choo choo! Oh, it gets. Oh, the yeah, yeah. That that's yeah. That's yeah. That's fucking nuts. The R train is going to be delayed momentarily. There's been an explosion of his city bike. <laughs> Dude, could you imagine the fucking heroin head that's in that just flying? Because he's already not on balance. Holy just a hard stop subway shit. train just going, just dead stop, just sending that guy through the air. I'm not going to lie, because <laughs> yeah. I flex on like public transport. I think it's fun to be like, look at my center of gravity. It's so sick compared to the rest of you weak cord fucks. But then, yeah, it would be me that's fucking... It'd be me and the conductor up at the front, just dead as hell, because I fucking flew all the yeah, way. Yeah, you'd up. have like a Looney Tune splat against the <laughs> <What>? front. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's crazy. I've never. I'm wondering if it was like hey. as, as soon as that shit hits the third. That's what they mean. It's like don't touch the third rail. It has like bike killing power. In well, that it's also thing. it's also like you said they're like and someone left an oopsie. I was like that's an intentional toss. Someone's trying to yeah. derail a train. Dude, yeah. When I when I tell people that I'm moving to New York, not even for stand up. They're just, and I see so much shit myself that makes me be like, nigga, where are you going? <laughs> this is fucking nuts. The subways are underwater. Fucking bums are running around yeah, everywhere. Yeah, that was bad. That exploding. was bad the other week. Like, yeah, where are we go? It's about to be negative 10 in a couple of months. Like, what? Dude, if I didn't love talking, if well, first of all, if I wasn't, if I didn't have an addiction to being vain that forced me to talk into a microphone so much, 
I don't know if I would live in like. Would you live in New York if you were just a fucking corporate guy? Uh, oh no! If I had, if I had. <laughs> Like if hey, that being said, is it like am I a cool corporate guy? Am I making millions? No, am I like no, no, no. fucking you're suits? Not an, you're making a hundred thousand dollars, which somewhere else can go way further. Oh yeah, no, I would, I would. Yeah. I mean, like if I if it, if I was completely done with stand up, I would just do like some trade bullshit and then just like go fucking own a house somewhere. What if I'd I'd go I'd join the police force? I think. I think I'd be. I think I'd be a police you officer. You have to pass a psych test, buddy. To be in the- <laughs> yeah. And let me tell you, 2016 to 2020 wasn't a good time. Yeah, you'd be the first question would be like, you're passing an unarmed group of black teens. It's 3 a.m. What do you Someone do? Someone pump faked you yeah. with. Tristan goes, turn the safety off. Like, wrong, <laughs> wrong, wrong. Yeah. Get the pit bull. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It does depend. Honestly, what are they wearing? That's my first. That's my first question. And if it's anything, uh, aim to kill. Is it Tim's or Dirty Vans? I don't know. So fun. They should make. They should let pit bulls be. That'd be funny if that was your argument, Trish. You're like, dude, I'm very pro uh, pit bulls as police dogs. If we're gonna let black people be cops, we gotta oh, let. No. We gotta <laughs> no, dude. Come yeah. on. Dude. Yeah. If so, that's crazy. <laughs> If Lieutenant Reyes can run a whole precinct, do you all think we can throw a fucking... We can't throw a Doberman in the back of a squad car? Come on! That would oh, that would be fucking terrifying. That'd be, that'd be like dude. the only dog who's a bad cop. Like, who's taking bribes and stuff like that. That's a gangster, dude. Dude, Sergeant fucking Sergeant Reyes and Lieutenant Johnson hop out of a squad car with their pit bull and fucking Doberman. You're just like, oh, fuck, never mind. Yeah. That's the uh, only cop. That's the only <laughs> cop that would outrank human cops. Dude. I'm yeah. It's like, fuck. you just hear the dog bark. It's like, listen to your superior officer. Dude, is that, <laughs> <laughs> is that an American bully in Kevlar? Ah. Fucking getting chased by a Is scout. his name Pickles? <laughs> ah, <just here. laughs> that is the best when they, whenever you see that, where it's like um, the Tempe police, police Department would like to thank uh, Lieutenant Sprinkles for his 10 years of service. <laughs> just like, Jesus Christ. He gets a guard of honor. You're at a desk. Yeah, this thing got the fucking uh, purple canine heart for biting a black drug dealer once. Retired him. Now he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. He has PTSD. <laughs> He's in one of the, he's in one of those. Uh, would you take something that has to? Like, he was uh, he was rooms? actually actually he was uh, he's on unpaid leave right now because he growl he growled at the wrong person. Turns out it was a senator, and then <laughs> he, he got into hot water with the precinct. It's all politics, man. It's all red tape and politics. Over yeah, there. he has said multiple times that he is colorblind, and we're researching that because dogs are colorblind. But I think he had intention in his heart. <laughs> I bet you. I bet you they do have alternative police dogs, like in in, but in small rural places where they don't have access to just like German shepherds out the ass. They're like, this is. Yeah, this what is, do you mean? Uh, is... We have one German shepherd and eighteen chihuahuas in the back. You know of what it car. is? You know what the police dog is in a rural town? It's just a f- town furry dog. Yeah. <laughs> I was say it's a just a dude hound, with but... a tail. It's just yeah. a dude with a butt plug tail sniffing. <laughs> I was say, they just paint a raccoon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the direction we're going towards. Two female cops hop out of a Jeep squad car. And the furries. No, it's a white Jetta. <laughs> yeah, a white Jetta. And the canine unit's a male furry in a fucking Kevlar Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's still, right. still in leather. It's like, Detective Tiny Bandit, what did you find? <laughs> and it's Dude. just like a tra- just a raccoon just holding a piece of evidence out of the trash. being like, <laughs> and it's like, thank you. Thank you. It's for- an is this Kevlar yours? trying to break a fucking loose bullet on its chest. Yeah. And no, yeah. no. He's be like, is this your heroin needle? It's like, oh my god! And he just holds up another thing. He's like, is this your half-eating potato chip? He also, <laughs> can he have it? Would you mind? He's gonna be in there for a while. Did we get photographic evidence of the evidence? All right, he can eat it now. It's just yeah. went, but none of the animals can talk. <laughs> yeah, it's like, no, you cannot. Pe- no, you cannot pe- pet Detective Tiny Bandit. I've tried. He gets Dude. very upset. Do you know that I? Uh, this is, and I'll do it once, just because I know it's a hack on our podcast at this point. I blew the hair back on at family weekend this weekend with my bros, like whole kind of like collective squad group. We were sitting in the Airbnb. And you won. Okay, continue. When I said collective squad group, it was like it's family weekend, so it's like my brother, 
It's family weekend. Okay. I don't just no, go down continue. to college to continue. turn up, yeah, asshole. Continue, continue. No, it's, it's my continue. brother. His not his roommates. His roommates, you know, the kid who beats his dick. He's like him, but the the kid down the hall. That would be weird if you were if you were hanging out with him. Only like he tried to shake my hand and just give him an elbow. <laughs> like, what's, what's up, buddy? How you, how you doing? Uh, no, but it was like my brother, my sister, mom, dad, couple of family friends, and like my brother's friend from college. And we're all sitting in this uh, like big Airbnb. It has like four rooms. We're all sleeping there that weekend. And and a Patrick Warburton E Trade commercial comes on. No, uh, I don't. I don't say anything. Jesus. I don't say anything while it's going on. I don't, th- I don't say anything while it's. Go- and he says like, uh, in the commercial, there's like he says something like, uh, E Trade. It'll, uh, it'll it'll get you what you need. And then I let the whole commercial play. I don't say shit. I watch it, and everyone's been like, oh, I fucking love him. He's in that Bruce knew this. And then it cuts to the next commercial, and then like you know, everyone's just sitting there kind of quiet, and I just go. Betrayed. And no, yeah, no. So, so what? So we were correct. You just brought it up because you yeah, yeah. wanted to flex on a half shitty impression. And then they go. Then they're like, "Yeah, oh, dude, you could." Do yeah, that. they were Daniel, expecting you oh to do it too, God, Daniel. Daniel. They were expecting hold- you to do it too. They know you. They're Daniel, like, holy this- fucking shit! Is he here? Is Patrick Warburton here? Do you know him with your extensive yeah. comedy I know it's hack. I know it's trash. Sometimes it's fun when you can fuck. Because all I'm around is fucking entertaining people. Most people aren't funny or entertaining. I hope you know this. Where is this guy going? I'm He's walking. My laptop. He's taking a walk. You walked me. You walked me on the Patrick Warburton thing. I thought it was good, dude. I blew a fucking living room's hair back. And then they were like, you can do it. I was like, Cusco. They were like, holy shit. You blew it back with a fart. That's what oh, you it was did. Good. It, it was, was a good. I like big it. It old fun. fart. God, I hate you. Oh, uh, here's some. I guess fun, family weekend. My my girl and my mom have a fun tumultuous relationship. They don't. Oh, they hold on, hold on. Can we? So your mom was at family weekend. Everyone was there. Yeah. Okay. Has the weed situation been resolved? It's a public episode. Let me write that down. Okay. Hey, All right. Hey, Patreon weed situation. No, well, we found a we found a loophole in my brother's fucking <laughs> in the contract. My brother, yeah, we found turns a loophole out, in the contract. With turns out the loophole it. is his poop hole. If he <laughs> hides the weed in his ass, he doesn't have to get in trouble. Goes, no, well, is there a party city around there by chance? Can no, we? this is this is the new loophole. You just supply weed to the dude that jerks off in your brother's room. And then that guy gives it to you. So technically, you're not giving him weed. I tried to go, oh, his dad's rich. I showed him $100 for a gram. <laughs> send, send it down to Squab's room. Uh, okay, no, that's good. I like that. Uh, what were we talking about before the weed thing? Sorry, I wrote that. No, down. but you're uh, t- continuing about uh, family weekend. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're down to family weekend. Tumultuous relationships. My, that, wasn't uh, even the pi- that wasn't even the highlight <coughs> no, of family no, no. weekend. <coughs> no, well, okay, so that wasn't the highlight. So we get down there. <laughs> It was your personal highlight. I know that for sure. It's in the real. Dude, yeah. I love my mom, but she is so loud. Like, she is just a loud, loves to be the fucking center of attention. It's probably half the reason why I am I am. Like, whatever. She got so fucking drunk, and we're just in this group of... And I'm not a very, like... I don't even know what the word... Like, a lot person, if that makes sense. Do you know what you know what I mean though? Like when we're in public and we're drinking, I'm never the guy who's like screaming causing, out, yeah. yeah, causing people to stare. You're at You're never us a menace, or, yeah, yeah, to outsiders, to us all the time. Yeah, there's a there's a menace. couple of there's a couple of those in New York. Yeah, oh, just like when the the you're like, oh, Jerry's drinking gin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit like that. Uh, yeah, uh, walk- it's more like, oh, Robbie's fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, I know. Robbie's fucked in. up. My mom, my mom offered me a tequila shot, or not tequila, a Tito shot when I walked in. But she's like, "Do you want a tequila shot?" I was like, "Oh God, damn it, lame." And so we get to this place. We're not even in the fucking game yet. All right, we go to like the tailgate, and we can bring beers to the place. So everyone's drinking. We're playing cornhole, and it's fun. And then we get in this place, and she's like so fucked up and drunk that she's like, "I gotta go piss." I was like, "Okay." And she's like, "All the girls come with me." We're going pee. And I was like, ah, all right. And so, like, the all the lines for the bathroom are so fucking long. The girl's bathroom is, like, out the ass long, and the male's bathroom's a little bit shorter. Dude, my mom was like, I'm just going in the guy's bathroom. And just go, like, but not even, like, waits in the guy's line. Cuts the, like, 15 guys that are in line. Wait, like, goes in there. And then she's like, Taylor, are you coming? And Taylor's just like, yep. And, like, just puts her hat down and walks in the guy's bathroom. And then, so there's... In total, four people, four girls in my party in the guy's bathroom. 
At least I now know that I'm not the person that embarrasses Taylor the most in our group anymore. Well, it was fuck because like they even fuck, but like my my girl Taylor's more afraid of my mom than like fucking the cops getting kicked out of a stadium. Get it? Like the second my mom was like here now, Taylor was like, I guess, and just fucking just walked in, just slid in. The whole I'm like. I don't do great with fucked up situations like that. It, the whole thing was fucked. Let me get to the game. And Hold on. What do you think your mom's energy was when she walked into the bathroom? It's like, move, Sorry, peasants. girl. Sorry, boys. Ladies got to pee. Oh, yeah. And then, yes. oh, well, and then cracked a Bud Light with her teeth. Well, actually, yeah. yeah this is, she just put her. She's like, I got a koozie right here. And put her between her fat, big mom tits. <laughs> well, well, you know what Taylor said on the drive home? She goes, you know what your mom said when she was in the bathroom? She walking. So obviously, all the guys are like, "I can Yo! suck and fuck all of you. Shut up, you pussies." <laughs> kind of, kind of. But she basically I got goes, cum in my asshole. That's so oh, oh, fucking older than half of you. Get out of here. I'm if taking you out my. If you want to see these giant Jew tits, you're gonna let me pee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to see these kosher free milkers? Then you better <laughs> get to stepping, Mister. She basically came in like she had a John Deere trucker hat on and like wheat in her mouth. She's like. She's like, hey, it yeah. ain't nothing I ain't never seen before. Put it away. It ain't smaller than the smallest. It ain't bigger than the biggest. And then just went and open, open squat. I've had black guys come in me and come <laughs> out of me. I've seen it all. I got a black son. Put he it has, away. Like, <laughs> your, your, your mom has like Red Dead Redemption dialogue. Just walking in. She's just glitching yeah. into a wall being like, I yeah. used to date a Dewan. <laughs> just like, yeah, <laughs> just being like, not going to shock me, not going to change me. Let me tell you something. The things that I've seen out here in these open fields. In the frontier. Tui. The frontier. Yeah. Now, I hitched my horse outside, and I got a six-shooter on my hip. I got to go drain the main vein if you catch my drift. If I catch you going through my satchel bags, I put one of these between your eyes, mister. I got a zin in both my lips right now, boys. And then then that was my mom, though. So that's my mom. My mom's a very brash, older lady. Just, I ain't nothing I ever seen. My fiance is a sweet lady. (laughs) She walked in and goes... There were so many penises. There were dicks everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's a men's restroom at a stadium. Well, not even that. It wasn't like a normal like. It's a trough. Were, it was a trough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, you got to see the trough. You got to see where the pigs feet. <laughs> yeah. Where the little piggies go. You got to see where the hogs come to. Put, where the hogs. Yeah. Where the to. pigs and the hogs meet. And dude, speaking of pissing, um, I, I was talking to this guy. He was an ex male model last night at the stand. His name is Mario. He's a cool guy. He's a comic. And that's a, real, uh, that's a real male model name is Mario. Yeah, a German guy named Mario. Isn't that fucking weird, huh? Oh. Uh, yeah, but he, I'm like, he's like, my name is Mario. And I'm like, what's your dad's name? He's like, Heiken Steffa. And I'm like, that makes sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I was asking him because I was like, he's fucking, he's a hot dude, obviously. And I'm like, yo, have you been to like those crazy nightclubs in, uh, in Germany? He's like, oh, which one? And I'm like, I both i don't even fucking know <laughs> hey, yeah three? yeah and i'm like i don't know do you, do you run the quad do you go all four in one night what's he I does don't the know. big three he does the big three yeah <laughs> i work the, i work the big three <laughs> yeah no but he was like uh, yes it, uh, he was like oh yes i've been uh, a couple times it is very sometimes it is odd because they have a uh urinal there and it's uh very you know it started as a gay sex club as most good clubs do and then he's like he's like so it's like a fetish club and stuff so you'd be like great music great dancing and then you go to the bathroom and there's just you know a man casually asking if he wants to use your urinal or his mouth to go urine, and then if you want to oblige, you can piss in his mouth, and he loves it. And like, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, why would you? Did you do it? He's like, no, no, I had to take a shit. So you know, I'm just like, is that too far? <laughs> that wasn't on the menu, bro. Those yeah. places, those places scare the shit out of me. Like, like, like American EDM venues scare me, but just like being in Germany. It, it all seems to me just like the opening blade scene where it's just a bunch of vampires waiting for the blade. Yeah, it's just drop. a Rob Zombie concert, dude. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, dude. No chance. It, it looks like a corn music video, just like sh- yeah. bright flashing <laughs> lights and like white girls with dreads with an iguana. Yeah, I can do, well, I can do like the, the flume, the Louis the Child. Well, the, I, the reason, know, the, the, apparently part of it was like half pee because like it gets his dick hard. But also, if you're on drugs, sometimes it gets secreted through your pee. So it's also taking a little hit of whatever you're taking. You know? Yeah, you're shotgunning fucking ecstasy. Yeah. 
There's no way there can be that, like a, a dosable level in there. No fucking chance. How do you think people get caught on drug tests, Daniel? A dosable level versus a level that turns up on a drug test. <laughs> when you're th- actively on it, though? Hold on, hold when on. When you're yeah. actively there's on no it, way. Yeah. There's no way you could just piss straight cocaine. There's no <laughs> yeah, way you can do that. That's what I'm thinking I about, beg to differ. Think about, this is more cocaine a, than pee. <laughs> <laughs> think, about a, think about a blood alcohol level. You literally could drink, if you downed a whole fifth of vodka, you would only turn up like 0. 0.1, you know, sub, that's nothing. That's like almost nothing. I tre- I, 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 I'm thinking about it the same way, like when milk tastes different after cereal. It's like, I didn't have to eat the cereal, but I still get the taste. No, yeah, that's not even remotely. No, that's different. Like, that to him, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not high. I just sucked a dude's dick and he no, it's, it's, I did cereal yeah. milk. I didn't drink the cinnamon. I didn't eat the cinnamon toast crunch. I drank yeah, the sugar. And and so milk. I look like an asshole in the bathroom of the Earl Cup waiting for everyone <laughs> to come in. <laughs> I'm just trying to take Listen, I'm not trying to get crazy. I got stuff to do, but I just want a little hit. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. No, but dude, I went to I went to Newtown for uh, Charlie's birthday since we're talking about gay nightclubs. Uh we went to Newtown for her birthday. And It's not even a gay nightclub. You just didn't like it. No, 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 no! It was, sucks. it was, a, it, it is a gay club. It's a gay bar. Newtown is a gay bar. But that's the first time I've ever like, because people have always talked about it. But that's the first time I went to a bathroom with mirrors above the urinals, so that other dudes yeah. can look at your dick from a distance, like a sniper. Oh, oh shit! You can bounce a laser a... and hit a dick. Yeah, you can bounce a laser and hit that's, a dick. First of all. I like that's how you took the mirror for for big cocked pretty niggas. That's just to make sure you look okay before you go back. Out no, no, to the no. World. It's up. Oh, you mean it's this on one? the roof? It's on the ceiling. Hey, can we? That's a two way. Just so you know. Yeah. The, the manager fucking room is down. Is Do they have an upstairs? <laughs> yeah, Do they have an upstairs? Up. Yeah. Ooh, that I I did see a fucking wild TikTok of bros going down. It was this carpenter guy, and they redo hotel rooms multiple times. There would be an employee lounge next to a hotel room and the the hotel room would have like a fat mirror in it and like you know i could see how just any person would be like dude fucking they have a body a full length body mirror it's awesome probably upcharge them on the hotel room yeah they only send the pretty people there dude i learned a trick if your thing if you touch a mirror and your yeah. fingers don't touch it's too wet your fingers need to touch if your fingers don't touch it's two-way mirror oh by and the mirror. way let me tell you this i've tried to do that at uh it's impossible to tell it, you have to also, by the way, it's not going to be when you put your finger on a mirror, you have the perspective of looking straight at your finger. So you have to put your head to the side of the mirror, look at your finger from an angle. Could you and imagine it's being Im- the guy in the two way? Be like, look at this fucking idiot. <laughs> look at this fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he oh! thinks this trick fucking works. Yeah. Hey, they've yeah. been drinking him. Like, take a shot every time this guy tries to think if it's a two way mirror. Do you know what I do? It's foolproof. What you do is uh, you punch through every mirror in every hotel room <laughs> you're in. <laughs> you run full speed. And let me do they get surprised. Right. when you're just like just for the joke i might even get arrested for it if i really had a two-way mirror and you catch some guy being like is this a... just to turn on the light in your room so he sees you looking back at him just for really like oh fuck i knew yeah. it. i knew it i, I rough, did that it's a, rough, it's a rough world for a girl dog because there's no like yeah. female hotel owner being like i need to see this guy's cock and undercarriage i need to see it now like this <laughs> It's a yeah, world for I, I want to see, see him a... dry his gooch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna see a guy behave when he's not yeah. visibly seen by anyone in a room yeah. alone, which is basically like the most primate a man can ever be. Yeah, just like sitting there, just like eating Doritos, to just completely naked. Yeah, well, get fucking heterosexual like dudes who don't have access to clean pussy are the scariest guys in the world. Because even gay niggas, like gay niggas, have. Almost as Wait, much access to. I, I just sorry you, you caught me off with access to clean pussy like it's drinking water. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. I mean, for fifteen I, cents I a day talking, you can give this fat bastard clean pussy for the first time in his life. Yeah, I was yeah. talking to, to Taylor. About How much is a arms, cup of coffee to you? Yeah. Four, in the three dollars. Arms of a fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Taylor about this because my brother didn't start getting pussy until this one girl he's talking to, and this is more Patreon, but she's not a uh, family favorite for multiple reasons, but. It's because Black. Have, just say this bitch sucks, it's, dog. It's, <laughs> can I get read, read the underline one? <laughs> can I can I can I get a can I get a what is her skin color for three dollars, please? Okay. Uh, uh, brother's girl sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that. Join the Patreon, but yeah, it's niggas who don't have access to clean and reliable pussy are the most dangerous motherfuckers on the planet. And it could be used for good, 
generally it's not. Those are guys in chat rooms and liking fourteen year olds TikTok. <laughs> the, yeah, but like the, the uh, chat room yeah. is a bad look no matter what. If you're in a chat room nowadays, what? I don't even know where to find the fucking chat room at. What is that? I think just the OGs. I think unless you really want to go down a dark rabbit hole. Where the fuck is? I mean, technically, isn't like a Omegle, Chat Roulette, Chatterbait. I think those are like the yeah. the three OG ones. Chatterbait is only porn. I think is that only porn? Yeah, it sounds like masturbate. It's yeah. chatterbait. I I don't know. I've I've never done any of it. Oh, have I know you never, have you never been to the school uh, the school appropriate video game site, uh, fingerfuck.com? <laughs> did you know did you know chatterbait's the name of a fishing lure also? I didn't know that. That yeah, makes sense. A, I just got a brand new chatterbait. You're like <clears throat> um, How many coins did it come with? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, how do you know there's a coin come down. system? <laughs> Come town bits. You had that answer ready to go. You've been questioned on that once or twice. No, I, just, I was listening to that on the car right here. Chatterbait? No, come town clips. Oh. Uh, do you know, do you, uh, would you ever pay for, like, to be a part of a live chat room for, like, porn or something like that? He's paid for it before our garbage blew up. He had the, at one point, they had a, a level where you got to do, like, a monthly live chat with the No, boys. I mean, I mean with pornography. What's worse, a podcast or pornography? <laughs> to get to sit there with two obese podcasts. I don't know what. I don't know what's just sadder. A, just honestly. two Philly <laughs> comics. I, I never even took them up on the offer either. Yeah. Are you garbage? <laughs> not me. I spent fifteen dollars to watch you talk, and I'm not even there. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, that. you're not coming watching. Gar- well, I don't know that with you, Andrew. But, <laughs> what uh, the okay. fuck is this? No. He's watching an even fatter guy. Be like, it could be, it could be me. So I'm, I'm going to be him. I'm going to no. get addicted to crack. <laughs> you should get addicted to crack. I should. I feel like that's the next career move for me. I mean, or just put on more, you know, 40, get some health insurance and get on the Ozempics like everybody else. <laughs> I should get on Ozempics, dude. I should get on Ozempic. No, you should. Because I'm pretty sure my dad has it. I might just take it from him. It's a shot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't it's know what it pill. is. I thought it was a pill. No, it's a, no, it's a shot. Yeah, it's you got a, a shot sh- in right. your well, Guess I what? Think... I look enough like Oscar to get away with it. You you know what? You could be like, uh, can you imagine just being like, I thought my dad was doing Ozempic, but he was doing heroin for a very <laughs> long time. <laughs> Let's look this up. Typical weight of a person who takes Ozempic. Because it used to be, I think it's a diabetes medicine. And they realized that like, it makes you feel just shitty enough that you can <clears> deal with it, but also makes you lose like a bunch of weight. It makes you cool. I think it was so bad that Big J got off of it already. Like, it makes you feel so shitty that he's like, no, absolutely well, not. Well, it's like a weird thing where, like, it, like, phys- like where, when you eat, you get, like, nauseous. Like, you physically don't want to eat. Yeah. Which is, like, pretty bad for you, I feel like. You kind of got to eat to live. You kind of feel like shit. But also, I would imagine, I don't actually know. I, this is a weird question. Do you think if you were 100 pounds lighter, you would feel better? Or, like, 70 pounds lighter, you would, f- like, just day to day, you would feel like... I feel the same. I've been both those ways. I feel the same. No, you feel way better, dude. Are you kidding me? No, I'm telling you, I you feel the same. You would every mirror you passed, dude. No, I didn't. I, I promise you I didn't. I'm not even saying... I'm just saying that, like, from, like, I don't... If I was 70 pounds heavier, would I feel, like less good or i guess you just get used to it nah so like i've just is- not nah, same amount of depressed as always i don't mean mentally buddy no. i'm never talking mentally i'm uh. talking about like when you stand up from the couch you're like that's a little bit easier that was a good well like, that's, that's the issue he doesn't stand up from the couch he that's literally just <laughs> told me he was awake at like nine o'clock i didn't and le- didn't i didn't leave, leave the bed, bed all day today literally job of the hut you were job of the hutting <laughs> until like 12 30. no i just had a, i was depressed a little bit today i don't know i why. do like to have a job of the hut day honestly sometimes every once in a while where you just like Boom, I, you're so. lucky if i leave the front door i'm like i'm not seeing outside today God, I nah love, I, I love those days where you just commit to being a scumbag where you're like there was there was a time in college where I, I was coming home. I knew I was transferring, so I wasn't going to pay the money to come home for spring break. But there was like three days where everyone was gone. I was just in my apartment. The front door did not open for three days. And I had like 30 some dollars. The only time it would maybe open was to like get DoorDash, and that was it, dude. Can you, can you live a secluded life, do you think? I did. I almost do. Yeah. 
What are you talking about? You don't live. As, you go see people all the time. No, that's what. But like, if I don't do stand up, like if there, if I don't have shows on a weekend, I don't leave the house that weekend. Well, you go out and try to get guest spots and stuff like that. I feel like well, you're that's, a social butterfly. Well, that's why more networking. It's, well, that's why it's because so I don't have to be secluded. It's more of like I need to see people kind of thing. Or it's yeah, like I haven't I seen can, a person in two days, so I need to see somebody. I could go like. A couple. I feel like if it was like a challenge and stuff like that, if they're like, all right, you have every all your needs met in this room, like, you, how long can you make it? I bet I could make it like at least I'd say, I, I like three weeks before I start being like, I gotta get the fuck out of this room. Are you I, by I was, yourself? Or I was gonna say yourself? two weeks. I was gonna say two weeks. Uh, if I'm by myself, but I got like an Xbox, I got beer, I got a bathroom, I got food whenever I Endless want, whatever I want. Intoxicants. Yeah, yeah. Endless supply yeah. of intoxicants. Yeah, it's just Video like... Video games, Wi-Fi. Do you, you have you access to your phone? Yeah. You oh, can't so talk if I can call anybody. people... You I'm, can't, I'm, no, I'm, you can't that, talk... And me, oh, you can't you, call people? You can't talk to anybody. Okay, it's just yeah. you observe. You can observe the world around you, but you cannot talk to anybody. Okay. It's like you can go on Instagram, look up all your friends, see what they're doing, but then you're just basically in like a, in a perfect jail. Yeah. You're in a high, you're in a high, like a white collar jail, basically. Yeah, I no think guards. I'd go three weeks before. Yeah, with no yard, where you're just like not seeing daylight or anything like that. I would go I'd, three day. I'd go three weeks probably before I start going like literally insane. Yeah, I'm going two weeks before I'm before I start getting agitated at things. Are you going in like your physical living space? Because my apartment, I think I can make it a decent amount. I would segment it. I would like start. As long as you, I could you don't get the my, patio, you don't get the patio that's though. That's fine. As long as I could take in my bedroom, I would take in my bedroom. That way, when I unlocked the living room, it'd be like I'll zombies. Show, hey Daniel, it'd hey be Daniel, like zombies. Hey yeah. Daniel, I'll show you how long you can take in your bedroom. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> I'll last as long as I can <laughs> in my bedroom. So after four minutes and a half, oh, hey, you're not gonna be able to last a second around me, bro. <laughs> Yo, hey, calm the fuck down. Man. <laughs> Fucking <chill>. What? What? <laughs> what? Dude, what? I'm just joking. Uh, Josh, come on. Josh, this is a podcast, dude. It's a comedy podcast. Having fun. I'm doing a comedy podcast. So I'm going to of... fuck you with my dick. <laughs> in your Speaking of said comedy podcast, we're about time. We need to move to the Patreon. But before we do that, let's read a couple of the uh, Patreon names because I glanced and there's a few. You changes. There's name Tristan's. changes, you say? Yeah, your father changed. It's pretty funny. There's a, and Carl and a couple other guys. Um, if you join the Patreon, you sign up for the $1 McBaller level or the $10 follower of <laughs> Gus level. And you change your name. We encourage it. We read it at the end of every podcast. It's fucking lit. Uh, here we go. Let's read the couple of guys who changed them. Let's get up out of here. We got Tristan we? Loves Ye we have yeah, Tristan yeah. Loves Yiffing. He told me that's not true. Here we I'd go. Said... Carl the Taliban kidnapped me and I'm hostaged. At a drag queen story hour, Goldthorpe. Like it? That's exactly where they'll never find him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go. Let's, let's round this out because Brad understands our humor. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, Brad, Gus spelled backwards is Sug. That's straight up gangster. Bowling. Yay, yay. <laughs> West Side, tell a friend about the cast. See you guys later. Peace out. Join the Patreon. Bye.